Do you want to see Cog in Toronto? Honestly, haven't been giving him much attention. Cog's gotten fat as fuck. I saw Zanny Berry's. Yeah. I think yeah. it was Zanny Berry's point that out. This nigga just keeps eating. Holy fuck. Does everybody talk shit about me just get fat as fuck? Is that like Cog or did he eat Cog? Also, why is he rocking the Amish beard? <laughs> What's going on there as well? Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure what's going on there. One person watching already. We're live in Toronto. Look oh, there's this pet the gorilla. Let's try and show them where we are. We're near, we're, near a, we're near a drug mart or something like that. Look, I'll show you. This is my camera. Oh, one sec. A drug mark? Eating too much of his wife's curry? I don't know. But he's definitely gotten fat. Why is cheat so? I don't know. It's long face. Why the long face, Cog? I'm gonna slide this thing off the back of my camera. There you go. Wow, now you can see the world. Look. Look, we're in Canada. By the guys. way, they're just next to the airport. They didn't even go anywhere, really, in Toronto. They're like, I don't know, just in the next neighborhood over from the airport. Canada places? I don't even know. There's a weird drug mart over there. Sup, Jake Z? Good to see you. The only person here right now. Don't worry. Look, guys, that's what we're staying tonight. We, we've got a great hotel sorted out. We've got a great hotel sorted out for tonight. It's uh, it's gonna be fun. Hopefully, uh, hopefully no one will dox our Yeah, they're at literal dumpsters. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Are, next to some organic produce. Look at this. But I guess that organic produce because we've just just been to get ourselves a lovely smoke from the Mary Jane shop here. Been able to get this bad boy. Some 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 lovely uh some lovely oil. Obviously, the oil came before the hotel. But uh, I think we can make. Uh, it. I, I had to smoke up, huh? Got a couple of king size mattresses there. Yeah, it's technically Mississauga. Yeah, you're right. Mrs. Cog, good to see you. There you go. Don't 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 sell onto your sister. You're a good to me, dude. <laughs> Crimson Knight, uh, Walkie is shook right now. What a joke these guys Harry are. Harry Morris is a fat homosexual retard sent five dollars cogs a spiritual black. It wouldn't suck if he got hit by a bus. No, it wouldn't suck. That'd be great. That would really liven up my night if those two just got wiped out by a bus. That would actually, that would really lighten me up. I have to say, if a bus just came out of nowhere, like the end of, maybe I shouldn't spoil it. Spoiler. If a bus just came out of nowhere, like the end of Skin season one. Well, we ha we are here. We're in Toronto. He got so shook, he, he, he moved, he moved house. Is that Gator? He moved house. We, we all know it happened. I can't turn it like this. It's going to get angry at this. But yeah, it's, uh, there's nothing we can do about it. We're just, we're just out here in Toronto right now, checking out the, uh, the council flats uh, where, where Worski might have moved to, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Worski's not there. They don't even know where Worski is. They're in Toronto. I mean, we know Worski's not going to come out and fight him anyway. What is even the point of this? We've all lived there, bro. We've all been there. This call attacker saying, yo, Worski running scarce to start to be so Maybe just a bit. Maybe just a little bit. Oh, we got two coming through from Chris Chan saying, get yourself some. I mean, Toronto's you. huge. I, d I doubt that he's actually scared, although it's Worski, so maybe, but. <laughs> I mean, Merida's huge, too. I wouldn't be scared if you showed up in Merida, you retard. Yeah, they're just going to some random fucking apartment. This stuff is amazing. One second, I've got double tap in. That, that, that's preheating it apparently now. This is amazing, this stuff. Oh, so happy I could just get this from the show. Yeah, it's a total grift. Oh, there, there's what wa 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 you wa wa <laughs> Give it to the piggy all you want, but he's had the <laughs> the the gut or guns to show up. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, I wouldn't say show up. <laughs> it was outside. Your teeth are rotting out of your head, Cog. Maybe you should save some of that money. Jesus. Oh, Maybe you need to go to Mexico for some cheap dental care. Unreal. <laughs> oh, God, I love this oil. Oh, my God. I'm going to lose a long amount of time I've left. Definitely. Ha, ha, ha. Find Worski. Where, where are we going to find Worski? Why would where, where, they where? pay for this? They're not going to get to Worski anyway. If anything, they're going to go to jail, even if they did get close to him. <laughs> Fuck them for making me... <laughs> Not root for Worski, but root for them to go to jail. That would be hilarious, I have to say. Yeah, he promised it two different times. Yeah, well, he did go now, I guess, but, I mean, it's dumb. You're not going to see him. 
we, we ain't got anywhere to look. I thought he was in there. He's not in there, okay? Right? He's not in that block of flats. He's uh, he's not at the drug mart. We thought he'd be in the drug mart, okay? They don't sell cocaine. They don't right? sell cocaine, though, in the drug mart. We found that out, and then we were all like, so where do you get cocaine in this country? Because that's how we're going to find Walsky. And, uh, no looks By the way, mind. that's what you don't want to say when you go to Canada. <laughs> where do you find cocaine? You probably shouldn't broadcast that if you go to any country, even as a joke. Where are we going to find the cocaine? I, I thought that was legal here too, but it, but apparently not. The most on PPP at the Mackey's though, so yeah, we're gonna go to McDonald's and uh, see if we can find PPP at the Mackey's, and uh, who knows, we might go live from there. The Mackey's is that what they call it in the UK? God, they have a gay name for everything over there, don't they? Do how, you want to do Mickey D's, nigga? Mackey's. <sighs> Ten patties, big ten Mac. Patty big a Mac. ten patty Big Mac, and I'm doing the five cheese. Bit. <laughs> I've had so much to eat today as well, but I'm smoking this. Hopefully, we'll get there, and we'll be able to have five cheeseburgers and five McChickens, which I used to think were chicken mayos in our country, but we'll, we'll try the McChickens. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Uh, well, we've got last card saying, "Yo, Cog, hello, there, good to see you." I am saying he's in a bunker somewhere crying. That's right. Uh, find some base Indians while you're Mickey D's is gay too. Well, Indians yeah, but it's better than Mackey's. I mean, in we've already found two. Just the drug drugs of a fucking uh, we're, we're, games. We're both married. Are you kidding me? No. But but there have been some decent Indian taxi drivers and stuff. I listen to some good music. Gotta put that out. Uh, Vegas Mill Gores saying just start yelling. Uh, Waski, Waski, Waski. No, I don't think that's gonna work. We tried. Waski. No, everyone's everyone's just like I don't know who you're talking about here. I'm waiting for someone with a stutter to be like, cock. It's, it's not gonna happen, guys. It's not gonna then happen. Then why did you even go? Toronto? 30 to $40 has been Carlo. Like, what, for, for the smoke that I've got? No, it's good. But it's like half the price. Like the dollar's like 60p over here, something like that. So it's just different. Um, aim, aim, aim says last kind. Yes, indeed, yeah. Uh, is he your biological brother? Yeah, 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 me and Dan are bi <laughs> biologically the same. Is that why he grew the beard <laughs> out? Because his right. pet ape has a beard like that? That's right. Oh, gosh. I'm two hours down the 401 from you. Wish I could be there, says Pro Swipe so about Glockenspiel. Hey, like I say, we're just we're, uh, we're going to be wandering around. I think tomorrow we'll be, I don't know. There's, there's loads. There's yeah, like I know that, Chief of Staff. There, there's a load of stuff around there. Where we're they say they were going to hunt down like, Worski and fight him, but they're not. You see him, but it's not a building. I mean, that's never gonna fucking happen. Galactic sent $20. Thank you, Galactic. If you could Thanos snap one of them out of existence, who would it be? Cog or Worski? Only one, and have to choose. That's tough. That's honestly one of the toughest questions I ever got on the show. If I had to Thanos snap one of them out of existence, ooh. Thank you for that 20 spot, by the way. Ah. Oh. What do we think, chat? I mean, my mind says Worski, honestly, but Cog is just so annoying and never does anything. He's even worse than Worski in that regard. So, and he's a complete fucking simp paid for by special interests. So I would probably have to pick See, Galactic pick Worski. Worski because Cog's more fun to fuck with. Well, you haven't seen Worski completely melt down. That's been a while. I don't know. I might have to pick Cog, honestly, because he's such a... I don't know. It's tough. It's really tough because then my brain's like, I, then what would Fatboy do? I don't know. Based on that, both, yeah. Just nuclear wipeout on them both. I think Mary Jane has the right answer. I don't know. Like I said, my brain says Worski, but Cog's so annoying, just such an ultra faggot. I mean, so is Worski, but. We're not really sure, but we're just going to go down there and figure out something tomorrow. Hey, Trez, good to see you. Welcome, good to see you in the chat. That's a Stay tough question. Stay that was a great question. Which one's on here? Which one's Danny DeVito? Oh, right. uh, well, <laughs> well yeah. I mean, you, you got the muscle, but you got the Danny DeVito's height as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, what yeah. it is. Sad. Oh, gosh. Story, I mean, we should just do our own version of Swins, really, at this point. <laughs> we'll just copy it script for script. It'd be great. Uh, and then we'll do a whole one where you're pregnant. <laughs> we'll call it Junior. Uh, some, something like that, maybe. Uh, wish I could have made...
Eat it, says uh, McAvoy 13. I know, I know, you won't be able to come down here, I know. Don't worry about it. We're going to have some good times while we're out here. The thing is, even the airport, like, sells poutine, but we're going to try and find at least a... a oh, yeah, I, I assume there's a steakhouse we can go to that has poutine. That's what I'm hoping. Uh, you need to feed Dan. I know, right, look look, out, look at him. He's like... Yeah, it's he's Canada, don't they have that everywhere? Oh, big back burger, mate. It's coming. I'm sure right. they have that at fucking the airport, right? I mean, it's famous there. All right. So that's Shit what... in the UK. Can they have the fucking standard Big Mac you had in the extras? Well, we'll go and do that. And what I'll probably do instead is I'll probably go, because we're going to go to McDonald's now, and I don't I don't want to video. Like, I don't mind in public. That's fine. But I hate doing it inside, like, restaurants and stuff. But I don't mind videoing if it's going to get uploaded, this and the other, instead of trying to engage a chat at the same time, because I'm going to be trying to go through a lot of food. So I'm going to video What, he put up that another that video going, going to McDonald's? And we'll video that. Yeah, uh, why would you go to a steakhouse for poutine? And, and, you'll, and you'll get it this way around. That's right. Oh, it's telling me to, my orientation is, oh, gosh. The orientism is off. Uh, Dan the King, welcome to Canada, boys. Says Professor. I don't see any McDonald's. They're just talking about, I guess. Do Telegram call-ins? Okay. But uh, it's, it's not that cold. It's actually a little bit warmer than the UK. Uh, so yeah, but it's uh, it's gonna be nice. Seventy out of two seventy-five. We are, we are here. Move Canada. along a little bit. A random location right now. To be fair, I'm, I'm near Mary Jane's. You know, I've just gone for a smoke. You know, we've just gone and got a smoke. Now we're gonna go and get food, and I'll get that video for you. Uh, Cog fight to bring back Chick-fil-A to Canada. Chick-fil-A's not in Canada? No, oh, I was looking forward to one of them as well. You know it's good. Uh, I don't need to, Trez. Chick-fil-A's coming to the UK. It'll be there in 2025, apparently. They're bringing it back. I, I think it's 2025. They plan to do a rollout of, I think it's either five or ten uh, locations in the UK. They're coming yeah, back to the UK. Yeah, fucking better be. It, it better be. Oh, gosh. Our, our, luckily they Look, have... I know I'm from the South, but Chick-fil-A is supremely overrated. I mean, let's just be honest. Their milkshakes are not overrated. That's one of the best milkshakes, I have to say. And that, whatever that fucking lemonade milkshake's pretty good. I just like their chocolate shakes. Their chicken sandwiches are not that good, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just going to be honest. Zaxby's is way better all the way around. Uh, I, they haven't an angry parent to dox a location. Oh, gosh. I'm sure. Happy memories. There's a place uh, downtown. Garot says he'd rather be Cog's teeth or PBB's Adelaide. foot. I don't know. Smokes on Adelaide. Adelaide would be the road. Oh, okay. Okay. Maybe the foot, because well, like his tea is pretty bad. We're find maybe a steakhouse or something like that. But if there's a place in downtown, smoke poutine on Adelaide. Okay. I'll have a look. Like I say, never been to downtown. When I, I mean, Chick-fil-A is not bad. But their standard chicken sandwich is, like, lacking for sure. Now, they have some, like, you know, upgraded ones or whatever. But the one people always talk about, I'm like, it's not that good. It's not really that good. Now, their service is amazing. Crystal, oh, you mentioned Crystal. Crystal chicks are amazing. I like the double, ch oh man, you're making me think of Crystal. It's this tiny little location, but then other places say it's like, it's about as big as Manchester, so I, I want to look around there because there's a load of different things there. Yeah, he is a jacuzzi. The with like this, we, we'll probably go down there for some photos or some kind of buildings. That'll be about it. Uh, Long Drifter, how's the weather over there? Really good, actually. Really nice. fucking good. Yeah, they're very nice. clean. I mean, they're well run. I mean, they're amazingly well, amazingly well run, Chick-fil-A. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> God damn it, why do I gotta be busy tomorrow as a pink collar? I, I don't know. I don't know, but we're, like I say, we're here tomorrow as well, uh, and then we'll be going back uh, pretty much so, yeah. Uh, oh shit, so you're gonna beat up PPP? Holy think, shit, do, do you think PPP can get through his like front door and outside? <laughs> you think that guy can actually get outside? PPP is jiggling in fear, more than likely. It's more about Worski though. We, we know Worski can get out somewhere, but we know they both moved. And all we can do is say, we're here. We're in Toronto, we came here. No one got scammed. But all we can do now is say, look, look, we're here. And we're gonna, uh, we're just gonna enjoy ourselves. Cause we're, we're, what, what else are we supposed to do? I'm not gonna go like try and find Worski's brand new address, which he ran away from because he got docked in the last couple of months. Like you can help that really, you can't. All we can do is just go and enjoy ourselves with some poutine, some McDonald's challenges, and I'm gonna smoke shit in the weed while I'm here. And then we'll be back to do shows when I get back. It'll be amazing. Uh, you make you think which is all round. God, why did you even? Made Canada or England? <laughs> Canada. So I'm like in fucking Birmingham. When I got off yeah, the yeah, all right. But I put them, put them in England. <laughs> he doesn't even, it's Canada, definitely, because it reminds him of England. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, gosh. How much are you doing? steroids. So it's England on steroids. There you go. So you can say it that way. Lone Drifter, enjoy your time. I appreciate it. JD, PPP Sweet acts uh, as a loop guy. So it's Dimmer Gaming, Worski is going to uh, hide. I know, Cinemaz. It's like they're just going to walk around and act like they're going to see Worski, which they're not. They're just smoking weed and eat McDonald's. They could do that in the UK. Right, more than likely. 73 people right here now and 21, 24 likes. Appreciate it. Uh, if you want to send support through, like I say, the PayPal link is somewhere in, in the description. I don't know. Um, Cal Fart saying, have fun in Canada. We are. We are. I can't honestly wait. My favorite thing is the fact that I bought 
And the thing, you can carry 38, 30 grams, 38 grams or something stupid, or 50 grams you can carry if you wanted to carry that much weed. We've got a little vape and got a couple of these smoke thingies, which uh, should be nice. That, that'll do smoke me. Smoke thingies? You mean a joint? My entire journey here, trust me. I gram a fucking oil. I'm going to be fucked. Uh, spam them both that you're there, become heroes in the sector. How do I, how do I, I can't do anything. I'm blocked by the, I can't do anything. So you go spam them for us. Yeah, let, let them know that we're here and you won't see a reply from them about it. That's, that's Now let me show say. you where they're at. Uh, 30 grams is it, Alan. <laughs> I, I'm not going to nearly have 30 grams. I never carry 30 grams on me. Be careful uh, where, where you vape, you can get fined. Um, if I see a no vaping sign or a no smoking sign, that's fine. We were told we're allowed to smoke. That's the law, the motherfucker. Um, imagine a 420 to versus Coke. So this is where they're at, by the way. Let me pull this up. Oh, shit. Why did it not copy? Okay, so this is where they are. So you see this, Toronto Hoods key, black equals neighborhood unknown, red equals bloods, blue equals Crips. That's Canada, so it's not quite like U.S. gang ter territory, but you see that? Hold on, let me scroll down. You see that red right there? That's where they are. And the airport's right there. So I guess they took an Uber over to that area. And they're just walking around the Toronto ghetto, basically. Vaping. I'm talking about McDonald's. Andy says, all right, all right. it'd be amazing, right? <laughs> Don't forget a gift for the... Of course, Oh, Chris. yeah, That's, mate. Got getting so many stuff tomorrow. So, so many things. Yeah. Tomorrow. Yeah. So I'm not going to forget about I know. that. I've got my wife there as well. Obviously, Dan's wife too. We've got, we've got family to get all this stuff for. It's going to be great. Uh, we can I'm take some callers. Somebody asked for that. And tent a bike. All right, I'll bring you on a second, Agartha. Hey, the buses don't run this way. We this is almost ready. over. A few more minutes. That's what we're going to do for you. Two whites and a bee farm. Two whites and a Two whites and a bee. Oh, guys. But yeah, I don't, don't, don't really know what to do, really. We're, we've been here for, what, 10, ten minutes? I, I hate doing these sort of live streams because we're just kind of like, what do we do? What do, what do we do? Because it's just... Just, I never understand There's no that, Ralph right? content to go over. Hey, IR is posting the PayPal link for anyone. Uh, pancakes with maple syrup and Dr. Beats on it. Yeah, that's that's a must. Oh, yeah. 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 I've got maple flavored cashew. Yeah, it's got maple flavored cashew nuts. I don't know. Do you know what I really wow. like? We've just bought some stuff. Amazing. Jesus, and I the, uh, made sure that I picked up some pepperoni while I'm in Canada. Got to do it right, yeah? Got to make sure I've got pepperoni. We've got some micro Pepperoni? Cashew thingies. And then these are like awful. <laughs> These are well worse than the UK. These have got 41 grams of sugar in 710 mil. So we have 500 mil with 20 grams of sugar. It's, it's like... Yeah, there's probably a law forbidding that in the UK. Which I know is still bad, 20 grams of sugar, but fuck me. I'm like hyper over here on like 80 grams of sugar. It's crazy. Uh, find a good poutine. You don't see that hyper, funny, Jonathan. Yeah, one. yeah that, that, we'll have a look at yeah, We'll have a look at that one anyway. Yeah, we're going to look at a few definitely. Uh, yeah, Powerade sucks as Lone Drifter in the, in the UK. I love it. So it's, you know what sucks? Period. They don't sell Pepsi Max. Why'd you get the oh, yeah. blue Powerade? They don't sell Pepsi Max. No Pepsi Max. What are you doing, Canada? Well, Pepperami. Okay, Pepsi I don't Max. know what that is. Oh, Pe Pepsi and Diet Pepsi. You need to get Pepsi Max. That's right. They've got Coke Zero here, but you can't get Pepsi Max. What's going on? I DM'd Andy and PPP, we'll probably not answer. So actually I think you're more than likely. There you go. Be sure to use beef gravy. Oh, no, and of course, of course. I've seen that yeah, with poutine, it's not just about the, the chips and the cheese curds. It's the gravy supposed to have actual cuts of beef in. Tell me if I'm right with that. Like, uh, that's what people are telling me. Chris Chandler, you should do the PPP eating challenge over there. I don't even know what that is. Ara Ara, I see Kino Casino saying that they weren't really in Canada. They ordered Canada food and hid in England. <laughs> Uh, oh, oh, we're not here. Yeah, I know, I know. We ordered Canadian food. I know. That's yeah, we right. Mary Jane, and, I, 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 and I'm walking around with a weed vape from Mary Jane, so that's right. And, uh, we can feel that. <laughs> By the way, it looks like the captain is good for the Tuesday night blood sports, October the 3rd. A little breaking news here versus Thomas 777. We're going to have a basket of topics. So it's going to be uh, black versus white on IQ, black versus white on family. And then black versus white on the future, which is more sterling. Which future is more sterling? So we're going to do that on Tuesday night. Captain Tazariak versus Thomas 777. We've been looking at Canada, and we also have drug marks in the UK that aren't boots. <laughs> it's just crazy. The Forsaken Falcon saying, so has anyone who said they would meet you in Toronto came over yet to confront you, lol? No. No, I mean, well, I, they're not going to... Hit like! I mean, we've only just kind of told people that we're here. Like, do you know what I mean? So it's just... 
we've arrived. It's like today, it's, so uh, it's uh, like I say, I don't think anyone's going to be like, oh, I'll meet you this and the other, because most people want to be on the sly about stuff anyway, so I'm not really too fussed. We're just going to enjoy ourselves while we're here, do a few streams for you guys, and make sure we get a load of footage of the stuff that we're doing while we're here. Um, it's kind of the, the sunshine. Well, right, I thought there'd be more snow. I really was thinking that. Reg regular poutine is just gravy and cheese curds, and lots of variations, though. Fucking hell, you're actually making me think now. Hogabees22 uh, saying, Afternoon, strangers. Oi, Cargo, so good to see you. Hopefully, you're doing well. Cargo, Why don't you get some McDonald's? Really Cox, scans, I know, not even here. Not yeah, even good here. point, I, Wayne. I feel like going to like uh, someone's, green, green. someone's license plate just to show. Look, it says like Ontario and shit like that here. And, uh, but then they'll be like, You're in Ontario, not Toronto. And I'm like, Fuck. Because <laughs> it's right next to each other. Realize I'm still coming out of the airport. Everyone's like, License plate said Ontario. And I'm like, We're in Toronto, right? <laughs> it's right next to That's the. To each other. Uh, no, what do you mean? Halloween says Pink Carlo. Toronto has a tendency towards. No, uh, you Toronto idiot. Cloud cover, ah, who cares? I was about to say, no, idiot. Uh, Toronto is in Ontario, you fucking moron. They're right next to each other. No, Toronto is the capital of Ontario, you dumb fuck. Absolute moron. Even. Toronto, Ontario, Canada, you idiot. They're right next to no, no, they're not. Toronto's in Ontario, dumb fuck. Talking shit about Worski, you may actually be dumber than Worski, and that's hard to say. Handsome crayon for five, for five in the super chat says, "What's up, Ralph? God, he looks inbred. Yeah, he does." Ontario's next to Toronto. No, not the case. I'm about to get a Garth in here if he's still here. It's like a minute, well, less than a minute left. Um. It's not Thibodeau saying it's yours to discover. Yeah, that's the whole point. We're going to enjoy it. It's right uh, next but to yeah, Toronto. Like I say, right, we've been here for 15 minutes. Dan clearly needs his 10 patties, right? We'll get it videoed. It's been amazing talking to you guys. Thank you for the support coming through the Super Chat. Anything that comes through the PayPal, it's just going to go on us enjoying ourselves while we're here. So I appreciate any support that does come through. I'll make sure they're all read out in the show properly. Is he actually but dumber than Worski? I think he might be. If they do come through, I'll make sure they're written down to read out on the next stream that I do from Canada, because there'll be another one as well. So guys, thank you all for being here. Appreciate you taking your 15 minutes to chill and, uh, and see that we are here. You've not been scammed, and I'm blinding you with lights. That's right. Uh, but yeah. Say no, you were still and scammed. And girls. Can't wait. Guys, see you all later. Bye bye. You fag. Okay, let's bring in the caller. Oh, we got a couple callers. Well, Garth was here first. Go ahead, sir. Unmute yourself. Cog is looking fucking tougher every single day, man. He's like decaying in front of us. It's insane. He's got you can lot. smell him through the screen. <laughs> real. Well, he's got a lot fatter. His teeth are rotting out of his head. Yeah. He's, well, have you seen his cooking stream? He like ugh. deep fried uh, fucking government cheese, like an entire stack that you would buy at the store. He like boiled the in, like entire thing in a pan, and it just didn't shape or or um or it didn't change shape or anything or melt because it's fucking like government cheese because it's totally synthetic. It, that was just crazy shit. I actually didn't see it's that. Like, yeah, and then he's like just like frantically freaking out over it as it's like smoking and all this shit. I genuinely like, <laughs> you said earlier, like, is he smarter than Worski? I don't think he, I think he's just like, there's something genuinely wrong with the guy upstairs. He's really fucked up in the head. Yeah, I think he might. I think he has cognitism. Yeah, I think he might actually be dumber than Worski. I know that's hard to think of, but. The Ontario comment. Well, I just think he's like genuinely fucking insane. Here, hold on one sec. Crazy shit. Billy Jenkins sent $5. Never forget That's Cox's true. brother alleged 14. she raped a 15 year girl. I think it was yeah. a 14 year old girl, Billy. But yeah, that was on the kill stream that he said that. Icarus so. is based. Cog's brother is fucking based. He's a king. By the way. And that's like his own brother. He's well, like, right. His brother on, said you. that. He blames me for that. I didn't tell him to say that. That was his story. No. It's very detailed. No, the was like, I got you. I'm going to go on the kill stream. I'll tell you everything. Yeah, it was he's not. Just, he's like, I got you, buddy. Right. It wasn't me feeding him lines. That was his story. And I don't have the clip right now, but yeah, that happened on the kill stream. Yeah, it's up on the Colonel J channel. I know that, but he, yeah, it's on uh, YouTube. Yeah, I don't know if his brother's still out there, but shit, if that's like what your own family's going to say about you, I mean, that's fucked up. Yeah, it's pretty tough. That's fucked up. It it's pretty tough. tough. To be what I, else? Uh, you... Oh, yeah. go ahead. So, 
So this was all like under the proviso that he was going to beat up Worski. So he just like, how much money did he scam out of people? Uh, I thought it was two grand or something like that. I'm not sure. Somebody told me that. I didn't actually yeah, say Yeah, because I know along the line, Surfer literally offered to drive him out into the woods <laughs> and then live stream it. Yeah, I, um, I, I don't know. Um, Surfer, that would be hilarious if Surfer just showed up with like a ball of oh. scotch or some shit. <laughs> if Andy wants a redemption, I think he should go out there and pay Cog a visit on the street himself. I think he should aim, aim, aim. Well, that might not be a good idea in Canada, but, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I don't think he'll show well, up to anything, but he's doing like all this crazy shit, like on camera. I mean, he's fucked if he gets stranded in a foreign country would be a shame. Yeah. It'd be a shame if he caught another chart. He won't go back to Portugal. I know that because there's a charge out no. on there. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't. I, I don't well, he's think. asking for all where the Coke is on camera. Would right. I said that was not a good idea. Yeah, that's oh, really yeah. that's really not a good I think idea. Trudeau needs to pull one out of the hat for us and maybe take care of Cog for us. You know, if Trudeau put him in a, in the clink, the that would really make up for a lot, I have to say. That would really mm -hmm. make up for a lot, sir. I do have to say that. But uh, what else you got? I appreciate you calling in. So I got fuck well, Cog. Cog sucks. Uh, he only streamed about the cops and the body cams and all of why he hates the cops. The reason why he hates the cops so much is that he'd always be the first person to get arrested. He's basically <laughs> like a spiritual black. Oh, black English. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you calling in. Mm -hmm. Peace. All right. Now let's see. Chipper Jones. I don't think it's the real Chipper Jones, but unmute yourself. You're on the kill stream. No, it's not the real Chipper Jones. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, Dingo? Not bad. I just figured I would pop on here and, uh, I don't know. I got a few extra minutes. Let's co-host like back in the good old days, buddy. You and me. Let's do a fucking show. All right. Let's do it. Why not? What have you been up to? I fucking hate Cog. <laughs> Nothing much. Every time I see his face, I just get so angry. I hate him to death. Uh, well, you were one of the first ones to call him out as Jewish, actually, which he is. Uh, so, yeah, him yeah. and his uh, golem there <laughs> that he rolls around with. Uh, so yeah, I yeah. don't know. Cog sucks, and they they gave me the choice between taking out him or Worski, and you know I hate Worski. I know you don't, but obviously I do. And I, you know, my logical side of my brain says you know take out Worski, but the just the heart says just take out Cog because he's just such a faggot. Honestly, like I, that's hard for me to say. <laughs> that he's worse than Worski, but I think he is, especially with the golem in yeah. tow everywhere he goes. Yeah, go ahead. Like, I understand you hate Worski, and if I were you, I would still hate Cog more than Worski 100%. <laughs> yeah, like, well. Cog is just, I'll tell you why I hate Cog. Here's here's what makes me just want to gag on his, like, puke on his dead corpse, right? He's a piece of shit. He's talentless. The only thing that he's known for on the internet is just playing other people's streams and going, ha ha, that's crazy, right? Send me money, Mike. He's got nothing. He has nothing to say. He has nothing to add, which is why he just sits there and watches other people's content for like 30 minutes without fucking putting any, without adding anything. And also, he fucking scams people out of money all the time. He lies. He hides the fact that he's a fucking, you know what, a Hebrew, you know what? And then he fucking <laughs> takes some retard, some uh, goy, golem, whatever he calls people like that, like us Gentiles, to go do his fucking dirty work and then possibly get in all the legal trouble on other people's dimes. He's the worst of the worst, dude. I fucking, I hate him. I just really, really hope he drowns in a fucking toilet full of shit. Well, that's the, th <laughs> well, that's the thing. He brings Dan around to be his stalking horse and best believe if the cop showed up, he'd just let him take Dan away, uh, and try to play dumb. And you know, that's what happened in Portugal, right? Like he, you know, has this guy, you know, clock me in the side of the head. I don't even see him there. Um, and I, I don't know. It's just annoying. Then he's going to Toronto. Why? Right? Like Worsi's not going to come out and fight him. I know he told his audience he was going to go, but it's like no point really. Isn't that right next to Ontario? Why am I seeing all these Ontario license plates? Because you're in our Ontario, you dumb fuck. They don't have Toronto license oh. plates. I don't think. Uh, what in the fuck? Yeah, that jumped yeah, out. Yeah, I me. think Texas is right next to the U.S. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I don't know. Cog showing his IQ there. And then the first thing he does is buy a bunch of weed. It's like, well, you have weed in the UK. I mean, I, I guess it's not legal, you know, where you can go to the shop there, but 
he never seems to be lacking uh, in weed there. He picks up some weed, talks about McDonald's, which would have been way more entertaining if he would have just went to McDonald's. I don't know if he's scared somebody's going to swat him or some shit, but just, I don't know, just lame. I guess it's better than watching other people's stuff, like you said, which is what he, I, you know, I've checked him out, obviously, before. I don't do it that much, but he'll be sitting there watching my shit for hours and hours and barely saying shit. So, never saying shit. Yeah. Or when he finally does say something, it's just some, you know, regurgitated shit that he's, you know, like said a million times before or some line that somebody fed him, right? And Dude, it, one time, one time his fucking shit, sorry to interrupt, but one time, fine. like, I, um, I'll do, I'll forget if I don't. So, but at one time I was rolling through YouTube and I saw that he was live and so I clicked on it and I'll, I'll never forget this. It was like two years ago, probably, or a year. I don't remember how long ago. I was at work and I clicked on it and I lasted about three minutes. This motherfucker was unironically falling asleep on camera. And like he was playing your content, doing something, and then like he wakes himself up. He kind of like jerks, you know what I mean? He had like one of those uh, hypnagogic yeah, jerks, and then he he just goes sweet, and then starts going back to sleep. I'm like this fucking piece of shit. He's not even on heroin. He's just lazy. <laughs> yeah, at least when I fell asleep, I was on pills, right? Like and drunk. Uh, I, <laughs> I've never just yeah. fallen asleep normally, right? Like I. I I don't know. Of course, you know, Cog, I could, I guess with his content, I guess I could see, but you know, maybe that's what happened there, but uh, I, I just don't, I don't really see how he even raised this money in the first place. And I guess he tricked some of these people into thinking that they were actually going to meet, you know, PPP ain't going out. He can't even walk around the house, much less go out and meet these guys. And then why would they in the first place? Either one of them, right? I, I don't know. It's just dumb. A lot of low IQ. Well, if, if it were, if I were Andy or PPP, well, maybe not PPP because he can't hardly walk like right. have a fucking coronary. But, but if I were Andy and Cog came to my town with the explicit purpose to fight me, I would be so fucking happy. Like, do do you know what I would do if if Cog and Dan showed up in my fucking shit town in Louisiana and were like, "I right, we'll go, we're here to find Dingo." I'd, I'd be the first <laughs> motherfucker to be like, "Where are you? Please, please." I'm like a kid at Christmas. I would love to go beat the fuck out of that piece of shit. And Dan can get it too. I don't give a fuck. So like, I don't know why Andy's not just rushing to go meet him. Who wouldn't want to beat him up? Well, that's what somebody in chat said that Andy could get a lot of uh, you know goodwill if he just showed up and mogged Cog. And then what are they going to do? Jump him? I mean, I'm sure Andy might know a few people around that show up with a few people, right? And then if they attack you, they'll just go to jail, which would be hilarious, right? Like so, I don't. <laughs> and then they yeah, I mean, flew over legal, there. It's like right. a legal free for all. Right. Well, they flew over there with the you're stated not, you're intention. Not get in trouble. No, he won't get in trouble. Exactly. Yeah, they flew over there with the stated intention to beat up Worski. And then he shows up and says, What's going on? Well, that's not you know, that's not an illegal thing to do, right? Of course they try to say that was No, me. exactly. And Andy could get away with anything because the dude flew across the ocean to to assault him. That's the definition of self defense. Right. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I you know, I don't think he'll actually show up, but that would be hilarious. Uh, and it would add a little entertainment to this thing because we just watched that 15 minutes and it's just like, thank God he said the Ontario comment, honestly, because that was the only entertaining, <laughs> that was the only, and his rotting teeth out of his head, which also Cog's gotten fat. Did you notice that? Like he's gained like 30 pounds or so. He's been, he's been like plumping up, um, pretty steadily over the last year, I think. Yeah. I but didn't yeah, really he's notice reached it. a breaking point. I didn't really notice. Now I've been losing a bunch of weight, but uh, Cog has been going the other way with it. I don't hey, know. Hey, Cog, Cog found you lost it, and Cog found <laughs> yeah, it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, uh, that's right. I don't know. You know, some other things not necessarily going my way, but the weight loss has been going my way. Uh, so yeah, I don't, I don't know. Maybe his, you know, he's eating a lot of curry. Somebody in chat said maybe that is it. I'm not sure, but uh, with his mail order bride there, yeah. but. Who knows, dude? He's just a disgusting individual with no talent, and nobody knows that better than him. And that that is what makes me the happiest about the whole situation is he knows more than either one of us will ever know how worthless he is, and he has to live with it, which is why he acts like such a fucking swine all the time. Well, that's why he never does anything else, Dingo, besides these stupid stunts once he found this gorilla to follow him around and watch my shit usually or watch somebody else's shit now we watch people's stuff sometimes too but you know that's not 
a faux pas, but if that's all you do, like we have guests and we're doing debate on Tuesday and you know, I don't want to just watch people shit every single fucking day. And I try to add a little, you know, original commentary to it, but his shit is just so dull, honestly. And well, he does nothing else. He does nothing else but watch other people's content. And like that video you played, I didn't catch all of it, thank God. But I caught like the last couple of minutes of it. Like it's the first time I've seen him stream in years where he wasn't just watching somebody else's stream. And you see how boring and awkward it was when he had to actually right. talk. Well, he even says that during the stream where he's like, I'm not comfortable doing this. It's like, yeah, because you're not. Oh, wow. I like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. You're much what more comfortable. Yeah, exactly. You're telling on yourself. It's Yeah, you're much more comfortable just watching somebody else. Uh, so yeah, that was a, quite a, quite a comment by cog there, I have to say. Um, but I don't know. Where do you think the trip goes from here? Uh, I don't know. I, I think, I think that nobody wants this fight less than cog. Like there's, cog doesn't want to fight anybody. He's just, he's just saying that shit banking on, you know, like Andy not playing into it. If Andy was like, yeah, cog, where, where are you at? I'll come be dressed. He would shit his fucking diaper. Well, that's why he has Dan there, right? Uh, oh, Dan went with him there too. Yeah, he's there. Dan, Dan, I'm sp I'm gonna speak to you directly, Dan. What the fuck are you doing with your life, dude? I don't know if you feel like you're hanging out with some celebrity, getting to travel the world, isn't that? Here's what's actually going on. You are a Jew's golem doing his illegal activity. He's leading you around like a fucking Yorkie, and you look pathetic, motherfucker. You look pathetic. You're owned by a fucking Jew. Your property. Get it together. <laughs> don't you have a family? What are you doing? I don't know. I mean, I guess he gets a kick out of it, like you said, but it's it's does pretty he have a embarrassing. Family? Yeah, I think he does. Or he's married. I don't know if he has kids or not, but I don't do, do you that. think that I would ever do you think I would ever fucking hop on a plane with a Jew and leave my family at home so I could go beat up people that this fucking piece of shit knows from the internet what kind of person would do that just think about that like how pathetic do you have to be like oh you need me to be up someone kind of the mate all right i'll leave me family and children here mate you have to fucking fend for yourself <laughs> like what the fuck i don't know maybe he gets a cut of the money I i'm not sure but it doesn't really make a lot of sense and he always threatens you know he's always like oh, i'll bring Dan with me every single time there's dan right there looking just pathetic honestly um yeah i don't know it's just Jeez, really bizarre dog. and he always talks about he fighting all like these people shit. but he's not gonna fight anybody right like i mean i got up in his face and was like what the fuck and then got clocked by dan right like he's not trying to fight anybody cinema says dan may be more pathetic than cog yeah on a certain level he is because he's following he cog around is. right yeah he's following cog around that's even worse than being cog like your cogs lackey is there a, a worse position than that I don't really think so. So yeah, I mean, no. right? Like that's even lower than cog by definition because you're his lackey. I don't know. It's, Dude, uh, it's if I had to pick, like if, if God was like, Hey, Jeff or Dingo, uh, I got bad news. You have to be some internet talk show host lackey. You know what I would say to God? I'd say anybody, but cog God, anybody, <laughs> please, please anybody, but God, but Dan signed up for it willingly. That's how much of a faggot Dan is. Well, he thinks it's great. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's pathetic, right? Like, if anything, he could do his own. I mean, he could do his own bullshit like that, right? Like, I don't. Why does he even need Cog? I don't know. He's just low IQ, I guess. But thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Bill Fair. Remember to like and subscribe.